Glory be to the name of the Lord in the highest. You are welcome to the Living Waters program on ATREM TV. My name is Olakunle Bilo, Jesus Kale. Please, if you are just watching us for the very first time, this is a program that the Lord has been using to open the eyes of those who are spiritually blind and to enlighten the ignorant and then bring them into proper understanding. Today we are looking at a very important topic. For some time now we have been looking at serving God. But today we are looking at serving God without looking back. Serving God without looking back. In the book of Luke chapter 9, from verse 57, And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee, whosoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have oaks, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury the dead. Let the dead bury their dead. But go down and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee. But let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. This is a serious matter. Serving God without looking back. There is a need for all believers, for all those who are giving their life to Jesus Christ, who have believed on the Spirit's works, to understand that serving God is a commitment. Serving God is a dedication. Serving God is a sacrifice. Serving God requires total surrender and complete focus, steadfastness on Christ. And so that you will not be able to look back. In this scripture, we see that Jesus Christ was going on his way and a man a, a man told him said i want to follow you but here we see that they came with different excuses the first one says that said jesus i want to follow you but jesus told him that first is abnet holes and the bed of the ear abnet and the son of man does not have his way where to lay his head he could not follow christ so here he told another one he said follow me he said i want to go and bury my father then another one he said that please i want to follow you but let me go let me go and take permission first before i can serve you and jesus said anyone who has put his hand to the plot and looking back is not fit for the kingdom of god this means that when we are saying that we are following god when we are saying that we are serving god we are not permitted to look back we are not permitted to compromise and then look back Look back, looking back means a lot, and we are still going to check that. We are not permitted to look back. Here was a man who claimed that he wanted to follow Christ. Here was a man who said, I want to follow you, but permit me to go and tell them at my house. And Jesus said, No, 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 you can't do that. You don't need permission from anybody to serve God, you don't need permission from anybody to serve Christ. You follow Christ irrespective of whosoever come against you, whosoever stand against on your stand against you, whosoever come against you, you serve God irrespective of them. You don't look at your background and say, since they are not serving God in my background, since they are not serving God in my family, I don't need to serve Jesus, I don't need to follow God. You won't look at all that. You don't need to take permission from your parents before you can serve God. It is a it is a decision that is personal. That's why Jesus told him that no man, you can't you can't just put your hand to the plow and say you want to look back. It's so possible. If you are serving God now, you need to understand that you need to continue to serve God. He has already given that provision through the death of his only begotten son, that whosoever will believe in him, what? That should be saved and what should not perish. And so, serving God must continue because it is showing appreciation to God for what he did for you on the cross. Serving God must not, must be without looking back. Serving God without looking back. You are focused on where you are going. Serving God, you are focused on Jesus. Serving God, you are focused on his kingdom. Serving God, you are focused on him. Serving God, you are focused on his mind. Serving God, you are focused on everything completely. Look at the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Here we see that God was explaining here. Look at what, look, look at what the Bible says in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1. Wherefore, see that we also are compassed about with so great clouds of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily, easily, beset us, easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author 
and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Here we see that we were admonished that if you claim to be serving God, we were admonished that if you claim to be following Jesus, we were admonished to look steadfastly unto Christ, to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of the faith. Even a man in the Bible who was about to die, who was about to die, was looking steadfastly unto Jesus. In the book of Acts chapter 7, from verse from verse 54 and when they heard these things they were caught to the head and they gnashed on him with their teeth but he being full of the holy ghost looking up steadfastly unto heaven and saw the glory of god and jesus standing on the right hand of god and said behold i see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of god here was a man who was looking steadfastly unto Jesus. Here was a man who served God without looking back. Here was a man who looked completely, focused completely unto Jesus Christ. So God is saying that if we are going to serve God through Jesus Christ, if we are going to serve God through the death and his resurrection, then it must be without looking back. You are not permitted to go and be visiting Avalis and be looking for chance. You are not permitted to go and be doing any tradition of your father's house. You are not permitted to be eating food that is sacrificed to the idols going back to be to be worshiping idol god said that you cannot serve two masters you have to completely focus and say god it is you i'm serving i am not looking back you are not going to look back to the tradition of your father's house you are not going to look back to the champs that you are forsaken you are not going to look back into egypt the abominations and the sorceries of egypt you are not going to go back in a generation like this, we see people coming to church, they still visit Avalist. We see people coming to church, they still visit those magic sons, those who use demonic powers, occultic powers, those who use all kinds of power that cannot be found in Jesus. Such Christians have looked back, and Jesus said, in that book of Luke chapter 9, from verse 62, he said, and Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand to the block, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God meaning that this is a matter that you have to count the cost this is a matter that you have to look carefully and understand that if you want to follow Jesus Christ if you want to serve him it is something that you must understand that you are not permitted to look back it was a place that God was talking at you must count the cost and that if you don't count the cost people will what people will mock you and say look at this man look at this man he did not count the cost see the way he's living his life now he said very I to you that except you also count the cost said you cannot follow me so there's need to count the cost there's need to understand that you need to serve God without looking back you need to follow Jesus without looking back he told the man he said look at you you, 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 you want to go and take permission from your parents before you can serve me and that's the problem with this generation so many people cannot serve God except they take permission from their parents taking permission means that they will not want to do anything that will go contradict the tradition of the fathers they will say that they want to give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar and what belongs to God to God but indirectly they are worshipping and serving Satan again and then they, they still claim to be serving Jesus this is nothing but a way to perdition you are going to serve Jesus and completely rest on Jesus in a time of trouble you completely rest on Jesus in a time of distress you completely rest on Jesus in a time where there's there's no food you continue to serve God in the time where there's there's when there's plenty in the house you focus on Jesus in a time when the things that are happening you don't understand and there's no way to go that to keep praying to Jesus, that to keep crying unto Jesus Christ to deliver you, you will completely look unto Jesus. You will not compromise because your child fell sick and then you took your child to a Avali center. That is not serving God completely without looking back. You have looked back when you say, let me take this charm and apply it to my business. Let me take this charm and apply it to my health. Let me use this apps and, and this demonic apps, concussion apps that, that these demonic people have chanted evil inside. And then you take it and drink it you will not look back you will completely say that if jesus cannot do this i am not ready to take it jesus have done everything on the cross and so there's no need for you to yield to the devices of the devil there's no need for you to yield to the discouragement 
of the devil. There's no need for you to yield to all these strategies of the devil to capture you. You completely rest in Jesus. If Jesus has not revealed it to you, if Jesus has not given it to you, don't collect it from Satan. Even though you are serving God in the ministry and the ministry has not moved on yet, rest with Jesus. Everything you need has been given to you in Jesus. There's nothing Satan can offer. There's nothing Abbalist can offer. There's nothing anybody can offer again. Jesus has offered it all. Serving God without looking back. Not looking back in the time of this thing. Not looking back in the time where there's challenges. Not looking back when people are forsaking you and saying they don't accept what you are serving now. They don't accept this faith that you are doing. Not looking back no matter the challenges. Not looking back no matter the temptation and the trials. Not looking back no matter the battles. Not looking back no matter the attacks on her. No matter the discouragement from her. No matter the challenges and the attacks and the arrows from her. You are not looking back. You are looking unto Jesus like, like see me look. I say he looked at him seeing Jesus at the right hand of God. Full of glory. He was steadfastly looking unto Christ. Serve God without looking back. Serve Jesus without looking back. It is a determination. It is a dedication. It is a desire. It is what you must completely devote yourself to. It is what you must completely agree to. That you want to serve God without looking back. You want to serve Jesus without looking back. You will completely look unto him alone in everything. In every area. In every aspect. You will rely on his mercy and grace. You must serve God without looking back. This is a serious matter. There was a man in the Bible, in the book of Genesis chapter 19. See what happened when they look back. When this particular person look back. Look at what happened. Genesis chapter 19. Look at from verse 24 to 26. Genesis chapter 19. From verse 24 to 26. Genesis chapter 19. From verse 24 to 26. Then the Lord ran upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven and in over three those cities and all the plague and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt this is a serious matter this is a very serious tragedy here that God was delivering them moving them out of a land of demonically possessed habitation trying to deliver them from, from the place where the power of darkness has dominated and as they were going they were warned that do not look back but the wife looked back from behind and she became a pillar of salt this is what is happening you may claim that if you look back and Google go and use that child at least you will come back and serve Jesus Christ again. You may claim that you will quickly do that money charm. At least you will not kill anybody. You will just do money charm and just apply it to your business. And then it does not matter. You may quickly use something to use in your ministry. Just to make it bloom. At least Jesus Christ will have mercy. Well, who knows whether the, that will be the last chance that you will ever have. It is, a, it is dangerous to serve God and look back. It is, a, it is dangerous for somebody to do, give you that kind of sacrificial offering on the cross of Calvary. And what you are paying him with is by going back to Satan. Satan that Jesus Christ defeated on the cross. You now say that you are serving Jesus and then you want to go back to him. You want to be worshipping him. This is a sad matter and it's a tragedy that many people that are coming to church today, they are worshipping Satan. They have charm in their houses. They have concussion that they eat every midnight. They have sin satanic soap and the demonic soap that they used to bathe and they have some demonic time they, they follow they read occulting books and they follow magicians and sorcerers they follow people that are using the power of darkness they go to first prophet to lay hands on them they go to meet first prophet for, for signs and wonders and then through that they are connected to satan they have looked back even though they may see me teaching in the church they may see me doing the work of god they have looked back jesus said serve me without looking back in the book of Luke chapter 9. In the book of Luke chapter 9, he said, Look at him again from a 57. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee with that soever that goes. This is this the, 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 the devotion we're supposed to have. With that, that is in the step 
that you that you take. As you are taking me, I will be following you. I will be following you. I will not follow shortcut. I will be following you. I will not use my own wisdom. I will be following you. Whatever you tell me is what I will do. Whatever you show me is what I will follow. I will follow you with that so ever thou goest. And then he says that, and Jesus said unto him, first is apples, and best of the air happiness, but the son of man had not where to lay his head. Saying that there will be a time that it might not be convenient. I hope you will not want to follow shortcut. Even though some things are not convenient now, it is not permanent. It is still going to change. I hope you are not going to cut shortcut. Are you still going to stay with that inconvenience and still continue to follow me? I will follow you with a sword that goes. He said, and he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. He's saying that, Allow me to follow my family. Let me serve my family before I can serve you. Let me follow the tradition of the family before I can serve you. Some people love their parents more than God. They love their brother, sister more than God. They can die for their parents. They cherish them. They can do anything for them. If there's anything they'll be angry with, and anything that their family will be angry with, that even just can we 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 also be angry with, they will do it to 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 appease the anger of their family. This is the kind of people that God is saying. Jesus said unto him, "Let the dead bury their dead." He said, but go down and preach the kingdom of God. Some people will not take up their calling. They will not follow the purpose of God for their life. They are busy with the cares of this world. They are busy with the vanity of life. Instead of them to realize and discover the purpose of their existence. So that, so that they can what? They can what? They can, they can be fulfilled on earth. He told this man, look at you. So you do not even realize your destiny. Look at you. You are supposed to be a preacher. Preaching the kingdom of God. You are here following the vanities of life. You are here following your family and friends. Your family and your friends have decided your own destiny. I have a destiny for you. I, I, your destiny is not to be following the dead. Your destiny is not, to, it's not supposed to be burying the dead. Your destiny is that you should go and preach the kingdom of God. What is your own destiny? And when you are not even serving God with that determination and the decision not to look back, how will you be able to realize your destiny? This one here was going the wrong way. Say, let me first go. And pe- let me first go. I want to bury my father. That's how they tell some people. Follow Jesus Christ. Believe on the Spirit works, taking this way, they say no, I want to first do this first when I have done that, then I will not come back this is a serious matter now I'm not saying unto the Lord I will follow thee, but let me first go, be that farewell which I at home at my house and Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back his feet for the kingdom of God, God is saying the same thing today that if you are not going to serve me without looking back it is better not to serve God at all than to serve God and look back. It is better not to follow Jesus Christ at all, not to believe on his finished words, than to believe on his finished words and then come back to go and miss Satan. It is better not to serve God at all than to serve him and then look back and then look back again. The essence, the true priority, the expectation of heaven, of Jesus, of God, is that you should serve God without looking back. This is a serious matter. Right there where you are, beloved, you need to pray when you are. That God help me to serve you without looking back. Re- release the grace unto me to serve you without looking back. Let your power and grace be sufficient to serve you without looking back. Any challenges that will come my way that will not allow me to follow you to the end, Lord, let the challenges be destroyed. Any battle that the devil wants to bring so that I will look back, let the battles be consumed by fire. Pray where you are, pray where you are, pray where you are, pray where you are. Pray where you are. Serve God without looking back. I pray for all the people that are connected in the name that is above every other name. Jesus Christ. God will grant you the grace to serve him without looking back in the name of Jesus. Any battles, anything that want to come up now in the future so that you might look back. I bind them, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. May his mercy be sufficient for you all in the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. For joining us on today's broadcast, my name is Olafunle Beloved Jesus We shall meet again, same time, same station on HN TV. God bless you.